So I hope you're all well. Um, I just thought I'd come to you with a, a little video and to try and help improve the people who have started off, no matter what level they are, try and just improve that little bit in an area that sometimes people overlook. So this video is all about how to improve your darts. Now how to improve your darts is quite a, a, big, a big statement, um, but it's something that I've you know been studying people a hell of a lot, um, watching the good players, watch what they do, watch the people that don't, and trying to work on a few things. Um, and there's one thing that definitely uh, makes a big difference, and that's getting straighter darts. And when I say straighter, I mean, not so many 26s, uh, which we all don't want. Um, and I've spent a lot of time trying to work on this and work these things into my game. So I thought I'd share them with yourselves and see, yeah, see if you can help someone else. Um, as I said, I'm no, uh, I'm no expert. That's the plan to get there by the end of the journey. Um, but there's a few things I'm learning along the way. So um, this is one of them and hopefully it can help. Um, but yeah, so throwing straight at darts. For me, there's a couple of drills I do do, which I'm gonna go through. Um, but the main thing is understanding your own throw to make the changes you need to. So for example, when when I've watched really, really good players who are on on point at the Challenge Tour, the Pro Tour, they're actually doing really, really well and they're in the zone. What you often find is there's a point in the match wherever, however they throw their darts, that when they're going in the air, they will be at some point on what we call a parabolic curve, which is basically the curve before the dart starts to drop. Yeah. Um, but as they're coming up to the board, there'll be a point of where they're they're in motion. They're not going down and they're not going up. They're they're sort of going straight. Which, when they're doing that, it means you know they're not throwing the dart too hard. They're not throwing it too light. They're getting it just right. Now, it's easy to say that, and that's how you hit more one eighties. But the fact is, if you can get to the point where you're throwing, and you're getting the feeling that your darts are almost. As they're coming through, usually they will come down, but they're closer to the board, and as they start to drop, they drop right at the end. That's what you see some of the best players, like Phil Taylor and stuff like that. They've got so much speed coming into it, as they're hitting, they're just starting to fall, and then they go, and then they go in, you know? They're not dropping out the sky and coming in with no momentum, and they're also not going so straight that they can't group in. They've just got that nice, slight increase up before they start to drop. So there's a point where it gets to the higher point, starts to drop and then they're getting that bang on. Also, once they get that, it's a lot easier to feel, and I'm gonna try and show what I mean, but it's a lot easier to be able to feel, and this is what you see with a lot of players with a good follow through, as they're coming through, the momentum is the flick at the end so that the dart starts to climb up in the air. So that's one thing, momentum is a big key. So, you know, look at your dart. When I say momentum, people ask me a lot, oh, how hard should I be throwing? I will personally gauge it. If you, your darts are a bit sharp and they're a little bit rough, you want them to be sitting in the board, you know, just enough so that they don't, they don't fall out. What you don't want them is buried right in the board so that they're right up to the tip. You probably need lighter darts because if you do that and they're buried in, when, you, when you're here, and they're buried in, there's one thing I've noticed. If you bounce on, you're more likely to bounce and kick it off with the next dart, or you're too, you're too straight. Not a lot of darts go in right solid in the board at this angle. So it just gives you less room. And the other thing, you some, watch someone like Gary Anderson really takes this to the extreme. He gets such a tight grouping because when this dart comes in at force, it actually pushes into the other one, allows it to move over. But obviously you've got to have sharper darts for that because if you put them all in there, and then they start to drop a little bit. This one pushes along, comes in. You see like what you had Gary Anderson in the, uh, the final a few years ago, the World Championship, they will drop out. So if you do take it to the extreme, yes, you can get a tighter grouping, but just bear in mind that you're gonna get more bounce outs. Um, so just momentum, make sure your dart points are, you really, you wanna be, you wanna have that much left in my opinion. You wanna have a little bit left on the point, but you want it to be gripping in so they're not falling out. I, I usually gauge it, once I'm throwing, when I get the angle I want going in, I then adjust it slightly so that I've got the right the right distance in the board. If they're going buried in the board, too hard. If they're not in enough and they're falling out, then you, you either need heavier darts or you need to throw with slightly more velocity. So that's the, the, the technical bit over. Uh, a drill um, that, that works for me is a little bit like this. So what you do, 
you start off um, when you're when you're when you're warmed up. I think it's always important to do drills of any form when you're warmed up. But you start off. You just want to start aiming below the treble and lift it up. Like that one was perfect. There you go. So you're really getting that feeling that you're driving upwards towards it. And if your darts lie flat, like for example, you can you can change and throw flat. So this is me gripping the dart differently. Yeah. But the dart's still climbing. I'm still climbing, so it allows me to feel where it is. And that's when you see good players, when they're really doing well, is they're, they're, they're on it at the same time every time because they can feel the dart just rising slightly as it's going in. Not like this, you're never going to get it going like this, but because it's taking out the big drop of the curve in it, it's more accurate. It's like when you fire a bullet. That's exactly what it's like. So if you fire a bullet from a gun, if you fired it up in the air, it would drop out and you tried to land it on a spot. It's a lot more difficult than if you fired it straight out of the gun and you put a target right in front of you. You know, if you put it right in here, it's going to go dead straight before it has any, any movement to gravity to take its course. So that's the same as darts. You've got to have them going on a, a straight plane, take the curve out of them so they're straight. And then just adjust slightly. You might want to back it off a little bit if they're dead straight, because if they're dead straight, you're going to keep hitting the flight and then you do what's right for you. But that's, that's one thing to bear in mind. The other thing is, for me, trying to get straight, you can do two things. So you can either focus on your, your slowing down your back, your back swing, yeah, and coming down in a line, and just staying in the treble, just staying in the segment. So just focusing on hitting 20 out of 20 in here without moving. And if you hit a lot of 26s, sometimes what I would do is put that dead center and I will literally try and aim to be just inside. I'm aiming for the wire. So if I hit a wire, I've done well. Or just inside. Yeah, don't worry about where it goes. Just worry about getting it as close to the wire as possible. And what you want to see is a nice tight line. What you're aiming for is to get right up alongside it. So you're aiming to be either side one and then the other. So we'll go one side, then the other side, just alternate. So what that gives you is a feeling of where your darts are sitting to where adjustment. The amount of times I see, that was a bad one. So the amount of times I actually see people, you know, they'll go one, they'll go two, and then they'll go in the middle. It's so common to hit 26. Everybody does it, but you're never going to eliminate it totally. But if you can just feel where you're going to be, yeah, like that, and then back in, you're just feeling where you are on the board. One thing Michael Van Gerwen said before, um, in, a, in an interview we did, was he, he doesn't really aim, he just feels. That's what that allows you to do, is just adjusting left to right. So then when you go back to, to where you want to be, you know. And you've got a little bit of feel if you need to. Another drill that, that's worked well for me previously is you're basically starting high, yeah, going above and down, and then finishing the last start. So you're going one below, one, one above, and then down. And doing the same with the treble. So you're building that same feel. So you're going one in, one below. Above. I like that last one a bit closer than that. But that's, it. that's a good example. But the main takeaways from what I'm trying to get to is when the dart is, when you're trying to get it in the right frame of mind, you want to make sure as it's coming through the air, it's it's getting to a straight point and not, you know, all over the place like this in the air. If you see your darts like this, you're to look out for. If you see your darts like this. all over the place, then you need to have a look at what you're doing. And my advice would be, you want them to be consistent. However you, if I see my darts sometimes, they're like that. Now that tells me my release is not straight. So for example, I'm throwing, and as I'm coming through, I'm just flicking too much. So what I will personally do, is I'll keep throwing until I get it straight again, like that. Yeah, so when it goes back to that, I'll throw again. I mean, that one was a ricochet, but I don't want to see this. I want to see that. I'm paying attention to whatever's happening so that I've got nice straight darts. It's okay if there's a tiny bit of movement, but when you've got 
you know, all over the place. One, your, your darts are more likely to, to hit, the, hit the, the flight and stuff like that. And two, it blocks the bed, you know. And if, you ever, if you're ever here, you know, I've done it before, but if you're ever there, don't try and go for the treble, just switch. It's just, it's just you're mathematically not gonna really hit that. If you're here, then obviously you, you wanna be going for it all day long, but you just gotta think about what's gonna be worth it and what's not. You gotta play the percentages. Um, the main the main takeaway as well, I really wanna try and get across that, that helps me get a bit more accurate is a drill that really helps me focus on getting trebles and getting straighter is before a match or anything like that, I will try to get at least that, yeah, at least a 140 equivalent. Then I'll go there, and then I'll try and get at least two in that treble bed. You know, and I'll go all the way round, you know, I'll go there, there. I'll go to most of the bigger ones that you go for a lot, and it really focuses your, your releasing, which can help quite a lot. Um, but big one for me is do one, I've said this before in a lot of video, one, two, three, all the way 20 around the clock to build pressure singles without missing you're focusing on doesn't really matter if you're double or treble you're just focusing on being in the segment which just gives a bit a lot of discipline to go around the clock or if you want to focus on just straight 20 20 so just aim up here below you want to just get in this justice only segment and just keep going until you get 20 out of 20 and then keep going see how you see how high you can go it's a big help to when you can do that, it really helps a lot because it gives you confidence that you can throw straight. Um, so yeah, it makes a it makes a big difference. The last the last thing I would say to getting straight at darts is I've noticed this in a lot of tournaments when you see the final players who are at the later stages, who's really playing the best. What they will have is something that's really interesting to see. Now in their throw, no matter what their throw is like, most good players will have a point, unless they throw quickly in a big release, what they will have is a, is a very straight, very straight takeaway. So they will come back, they almost pause at the back and then throw. There's of course exceptions, but the majority of good players, they will come back, as they come back, they will pause at this point. So they will just have a slow back, which makes that straight. So they're coming back straight. I know when I'm not throwing straight, my darts are going all over the place, I know I'm coming back and I'm just going this way a little bit, or I'm just going this way a little bit. I'm just flailing at either side, which is causing me not to come through straight. Because if you imagine you're going through a straight target and you start off over here, you've got to get it back to here by the time you release. So it's a really key point that I've noticed, you know, in, in other people's games, including my own, when you're not throwing well, just slow down and just slow down the backswing a little bit. You know, and even shorten it. I know I've got a bad habit of, when I come back, I used to go over here, which pulls me the other way. So I've, you know, if I go straight through now, it's going to send the dart over that way, you know. So I know I've got to get back to the middle to go straight through. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, and yeah, I'll see if I can throw some straight darts for you. <laughs> see if we can go for twenty twenty. See what we can do. It's not important where they go, you just, but I notice now I'm throwing slightly to the side. So I need to just straighten them up a little bit. We're not trying to land the triple 20, we're just trying to land above. That's better. Nice light grip. That's uh, six. It doesn't really matter that that's out, it's dead straight. So for me, it doesn't, I don't, I've never penalized myself on it. It's gotta be, it's nice and straight. It doesn't matter if you go in there. You, know. you just wanna be in, inside and make sure you're, you're going nice and straight. So it's not important that you, you, you're just outside. Just make sure it's straight. But you want to make it more difficult, you go you know, around there. So then you're really testing your ability of adjusting. Sometimes it's more fun not to go for the treble because <laughs> we go for that all the time. Yeah. So you want to be right in the middle and then adjust. So if you can hear, you know, 20, 20, 20, you'll beat a fair few people. All right, you're not going to be the top tiers, but. You're going to do well 
considering you can hit straight all the time. So this drill is not about throwing as best a score you can, it's just about throwing straight darts. Just to keep them there, you know, keep them there. Just keep straight. Straight will give you a lot of confidence. You know, and then you're not gonna be hitting 26s if you, you know, I don't even know how many that is now, but my point is, is you can just keep going and give yourself confidence. Hopefully that helps, um, gives you a bit of an idea what I personally try and do to, uh, yeah, try and throw straighter darts. Um, it's always a constant battle, <laughs> as it is with everyone. But the, yeah, the thing is, it's just trying to do any little thing you can to help you throw straighter darts. Doesn't matter what level you're at, the, the, the process is still the same. You know, you've got, got to make sure your release is good so that that's not doing anything weird. Your velocity is good, so the speed that you're throwing the darts is right and they're sitting in the board nice. Um, and then the drills you do to try and sharpen that up and give you confidence, which I've sort of gone through, that should help as well. Um, but yeah, also just pay attention to how your darts are going in the board. Makes a big difference. So hopefully that helps and I'll catch you all soon. So just have a little go around the clock and see what we can do. All about the follow through for me, making sure you, you're not just snatching it off. I haven't done this drill in a little while, so it's a little test for me. We usually get about 17. Sometimes I actually find aiming for a, the double and then going just inside is an easy way to do it. Can be a bit of a bogey number. I'm just gonna just float for that middle all the time, and it really makes a big difference hitting fat numbers. You know, just that release of the wrist, and then the big one is the, the ball finish. There you go, nice and 